tell me you missed that and I'll turn around and go back. You know what, Julio, get out of here. Auburn's Iron Bowl tune-up went exactly as planned. Well, except for one thing. During the traditional pregame Eagle flight, Nova crashed into the goalpost. As far as the physical part, Jameis is really working these kids in the quarterback drills. Now, due to FCC regulations, I cannot show you video highlights of the game. Still in progress. Have the next best thing. Red and blue Sharpies and some blank paper. First quarter highlights from Bryant-Denny Stadium. Auburn and Alabama exchanged field goals. Daniel Carlson kicked a 42-yarder. And if you pick Michigan State, you probably feel the same way. Let's give them a little warm up for what's going to happen at 7 o'clock tonight. So a pair of Alabama streaks died here in Death Valley. Number one, roll tide. What are you doing here, hot dog? Me? Yeah. You're on the wrong part of town. Roll tide, baby. Auburn's mascot's the Tigers, but they say War Eagle. Why do they do that? Because we do. Goat streak. Joshua Foster is defying the odds with every rep, every set, every breath. Basically what happened is I was turning when I hit that and it just snapped me at my T10 vertebrae about in this area, just completely in half, cut my spinal cord in half. Two years ago, the day before Easter Sunday, Foster's car hydroplaned into a tree, leaving him paralyzed from the waist down. Following surgery and rehab, he was out of the hospital in 27 days. Like if I didn't hate what I saw in the mirror, because I did, to see my legs shrink up, to go from six foot two, to sitting all the time, I hated it. I hated who I saw, and I knew that was a bad emotion. Lifting weights saved his life. Encouragement from friends and family convinced him to pursue bodybuilding on stage. He's competed in two shows, most recently, the Vulcan Classic. I got the only standing ovation. I mean, the crowd was going crazy, and it was just so special for my family to have seen me so broken, to see me so happy and so fulfilled, and to see other people respond to what I'm doing, it, it just, it was the best day of my life. So what's next for Josh? He'll look to become the first professional wheelchair bodybuilder in the state of Alabama. He'll shoot for that in a competition in Florida next year. Blocked from behind, out of bounds, William Lee. Put it up, blocked away by Lee. Blocked away again by Ha Ha. No, no, no. William Ha Ha Lee is college basketball's number one shot blocker, averaging just more than three swats per game. It's a skill set he's mastered ever since high school at Dallas County. Were you always a shot blocker? Yeah, ninth grade, all I did was block shots and rebound. That's all Coach Moore wanted me to do was block shots and rebound. And that's what I gave him. At the top of their jump shot, like when they're about to release the ball, like they're feeling good, they're about to shoot it, and like they think it's going in. Like you gotta have some type of bounce or hops, block shots. Skill, yes. Physical attributes help too. I'm like six eight. Six eight. Okay. Six shoes. What's your wingspan? Uh, I think seven one, seven two, something like that. For a towering big man with a nickname of Ha Ha. My granddad gave it to me. Uh, he said I used to laugh a lot, laugh at everything, matter of fact. <laughs> the end result is never funny for those who choose to drive the lane or stand uh, near the court. The, the timing and like how hard you block it will probably change the game and. Um, put a little fear in the opponent's, opponent's heart or whatever. Like you just go up and like snatch it out of the air like I did. Like they got to do something to the opponent. Wow, like what? What did he just do? Advice for opponents, keep out. They should shoot threes on us because they come inside and I'm block it. Since Nick Saban has been the head coach of Alabama, he has never lost to Arkansas. Saban is nine for nine, but the last two years, the Tide escaped close wins over the Razorbacks. Is a top-ranked Tide in the 16th-ranked Arkansas Razorbacks. Alabama's quarterback Jalen Hurts is a true freshman. He doesn't play like it. A six-yard touchdown run. He also got his face mask pulled. 14-0 Bama. Jalen accounted for four touchdowns. Second quarter. We come to expect this from the Bama defense. Deshaun Hand forces the fumble. Tim Williams picks it up, returns it 23 yards to the touchdown. Alabama leads 21 to seven. Let's go to the fourth quarter. Alabama leading 42-24. Minka Fitzpatrick 
tied a school record with this, his third interception of the game. But he needs a school record of his own, so he returns it. A school record, 100 yards for the touchdown. That's Bama's ninth non-offensive touchdown this season. Alabama wins 49-30. WVTM 13 sports reporter Tom Anito has more from Fayetteville. The last time Auburn played at Mississippi State two years ago, the Tigers were ranked number two in the nation and the Bulldogs number three. A pair of high-powered offenses led by Nick Marshall and Dak Prescott. The stakes aren't that high this time. Both teams have a pair of losses already. Let's go to the first quarter. Sean White finds Ryan Davis for a three-yard touchdown pass. Auburn on top, 7-0. White 14 for 18 on the day, 204 yards. A solid job. Auburn defense causing all kinds of trouble for the Bulldogs. Marlon Davidson forces the fumble. Montrevious Adams recovers. That turnover turns into points. Cameron Petway from a yard out. The first of three touchdowns for him. He got most of the work because Kerryon Johnson was out with a leg injury. Just before halftime, Auburn's defense does it again. Carl Lawson punches the ball out. Montrevious Adams scoops and scores his first career touchdown. Auburn wins 38-14, and they go into the bye week on a three-game winning streak. Tennessee and Texas A&M, a top 10 matchup in College Station. Double overtime, tied at 38. A&M's Trevor Knight, a one-yard touchdown run, and the Aggies lead by seven. Tennessee's turn, Joshua Dobbs' pass will be picked off by Armani Watts, and Tennessee's luck runs out with its seventh turnover of the game. A&M wins 45-38. Samford head coach Chris Hatcher accomplished a first in his career. He has never been on a team that beat Wofford and Furman in the same season. Let's show you how he did it. Bulldogs quarterback Devlin Hodges put on a show. He threw for a career high 411 yards. Most of that to wide receiver Carell Hamilton who caught three touchdown passes. Hamilton is approaching a school record in receiving yards. He needs 260 more for that season record. Sanford goes on to win 38 to 21 to improve to four and one. Jacksonville State fresh off a bye week hosting Tennessee Tech. Gamecocks running back Josh Clemens dominated the ground game. Three touchdowns here in the first half. JSU led 33 to seven at the break. Gamecocks go on to win 40 to 21. How about Birmingham Southern hosting Hendricks? The Panthers off to a slow start this year, one in four. First quarter, Hendricks quarterback Seth Peters with, with all kinds of time to throw. He spots Nate Hodap, who makes one guy miss and goes 65 yards for the touchdown. 10 0 Hendricks at that point. The Panthers blown out at home, 47 to 17. And on homecoming, the Miles Golden Bears shut out Central State, 36 to nothing. Miles is now three and two.